Hi guys, it is Thursday, March 6, 2014. I was going to make this part of another video I'm making about my hero Terrence McKenna. But uh, this little piece of wisdom from Terrence deserves to stand on its own, so I'm going to make it its own separate uh, rant. Whether or not you're familiar with Terrence McKenna, you need to be, and this is a damn good reason why. This is Terrence, uh, an excerpt from a talk of his called A Species Addicted, which I found here on the YouTube site, Ethereal Exposition. Now, I will put the link to this. This is an 11-minute clip. Let's just play the first, oh, uh, let's play about four minutes of it to give you a taste, and then for the rest of this, you can click on the link. But uh, Terrence McKenna, take it away. And tell everyone why you why you are one of my all-time heroes. The species addicted. Our unhappy, addicted, ego-driven condition has become not simply the source of our own unhappiness. That was bad enough. But now it's the source of great discomfort and dislocation for all life and human society on the planet. We, we are out of control. We are basically severely addicted to things and cannot stop ourselves. Uh, and we know, or we should know, that there is a not enough petroleum, heavy metal, so forth and so on, in the planet to give all the thing addicts all the things that we know they must have in order to be happy. We have spread this intellectual virus from pole to pole to Turkmenistan and Borneo, to the upper Amazon and to the Tajiks. What are we going to do about this? Well, so far, we've been treating it like an endless garden party. There's no serious plan on the table to deal with this at all. Culture is a shabby lie, or at least this culture is a shabby lie. I mean, if you, if you work like a dog, you get 260 channels of bad television and a German automobile. Uh, you know, what, what kind of perfection is that? Our, we have a, our secular society, religion is uh, completely devalued, uh, and ob consumer object fetishism is the only kind of worth that we collectively recognize. I'm sure you've all seen the t-shirt that says, he, notice he, who dies with the most toys, wins. Uh, that is, in fact, the banner under which we're flying here. And the level of unhappiness is immense. I mean, the level of unhappiness among the poor, they've always been miserable. But we've managed to create something entirely new in human history, an utterly miserable ruling class. I mean, you're thinking, no excuse for that. There is life carrying us. What is this all about? Uh, is it carrying us toward extinction so that the rest of nature can heave an enormous sigh of relief and then get back to the business of nest building, uh, mating flight? and over-posturing and whatever it is that they're doing out there? Uh, or is it carrying us toward um, some kind of a transition? No one of us, I think, can imagine that history could go on for another thousand years. 
History then is ending, and he goes on for another seven minutes. You need to listen in on that, and I'm going to come back at you with a more in-depth look at Terence's talk, Dreaming Awake at the End of Time. But I'll be right back at you with that one uh, for that four-minute summation of the state of the planet. And that was the state of the planet uh, about 15 years ago. This is my old buddy Terrence and, and my little tail saying, bye guys.